sorry. People always ask me why. Why document, why archive, why ask questions, why research, the why and the why and the why. And this, this is a little bit about the why. Wrong identity. Can I please tell my story? Can a story be wrong? Um, in my observations, my research, my paying attention, I don't think any story can be wrong. It's all about perspective. But who is telling the story? About who is the story being told about? Now, that's the question. If we look at um, the academia world today, and you realize that as a black person or an African person, you, you see that the story within the academia world has been completely populated by black storytellers. No, I said black storytellers, white storytellers, right? <laughs> Sorry. So now, that's, that's the thing. So it's not just white storytellers, they are also power brokers, right? So we have so many black idea bringers, black knowledge producers who want to get into space, but then these decisions of who becomes a knowledge producer is controlled by white people, right? And now that becomes the problem. So we are not just fighting about historical storytelling, we're also fighting contemporary storytelling, right? So next, good. So Times Magazine, <coughs> they, they released this. And it's um, something to think about. If you look at that, can everybody see the screen? So please, I'm from Nigeria. If you are black or African, please, can you raise your hands? Does that screen represent you? Please. It say no, yes. Huh? Huh? Okay, all right. But we all know how powerful Time Magazine is, right? So this is about programming. So they're not just forcing us to, uh, to accept an identity that is not completely true, because I can't say this is false, because this is someone. But it's not completely true. But they are also furthering the programming of the white idea of what it is to be black or what it is to be African, right? Next slide, please. Now, the most influential images of all time, 100, of, 100 they released, right? And wonderful, 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 wonderful collection of images. Please, just slide to the next. This was the masterpiece of statement that the artist who all decided to put this together this was what they released. And you can see that they started from 1826 to 2016. Please, I want us to remember, no, go back, go back. Yeah, I want us to remember the date, 1826 to 2016. Next slide. This is the first image about Africa that is presented. Can we see? Can we see the photograph, please? Okay, if you're black, how many of you have seen a real life gorilla? I haven't. Oh, okay, you see? So apart from those people who are curious about gorillas who go into the wild or go into sanctuaries and stuff, which are mostly white people, um, 
we don't go looking for gorillas. We don't live with gorillas, right? Okay, and that picture was, no, go back, sorry. That picture was released in 2007. So when you look at it, let's also pay attention to the timing. Next one. All right, so this is the next picture. No, let's stay on that one, yeah. Can we see what the picture is saying? Okay, um, how many of you would agree that the first two picture represent who you are, your origin, or your identity? Okay, and I hope the white, white people here, you're welcome. This is a safe space for, first of all, black people. Also a safe space for you to be informed. And I hope as we go through this, you are getting any piece of information. So far, um, most of the black people, if not everybody, because no one has raised their hands, do not fully believe that this represents our identity. Next one, please. Yeah, this was released in 1992. Same. Um, I believe that they, there is um, farming in more, more than one place other than in certain countries in Africa. I believe that there has been civil wars, different kinds of wars happening all over the world, and it doesn't completely represent who you are or who you're going to be or where you're coming from. It's just a part of it. But so far, so good. The three images here are speaking almost the same language. Next one, please. This was so popular, an image, that you begin to wonder, like, why? This is one of the most powerful representation of what it is to be from, from the white perspective, what it is to be from Africa or what it is to be black. So you begin to wonder when, when you as a black person face any type of discrimination from the other, you begin to wonder how, where is this person even getting this idea that <laughs> they are better? Um, y the information that you take in is very important. Next one, please. And this is, this is my statement to this compilation. So now the question is, if this was taken from <laughs> the timestamp <laughs> to 2016, and those were the images in a hundred, that they could put out there. Maybe there's one picture where somebody's dancing or not. But if these are the most powerful ones, do we trust these institutions to represent us? Do we trust these institutions to speak on our behalf? Do we trust these institutions to keep creating knowledge? Well, the funny thing is, I don't think we can stop them, but we can begin to tell our stories. We can begin to control our narratives. And way before this, when this was released, I bet you, if you go online and you look for or you search, you see that there's so many people doing work in terms of representation, identity, changing the narrative. Because the more we expand the narrative, the more we reduce the stereotypes, right? Next. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so. We are going to go into the next, which is the conversation. And because of that, I would actually say, um, if the black people can take the front rows and the white people can go back, thank you.
often at times, um, I've not been here for long, um, but in conversations, uh, one of the one of the reoccurring thing that I've been told is, oh, you're going to do this. A lot of our events are taken, you know, over by white bodies, white ideas, and I think as allies, it is important to know what an ally is. And all an ally is, is support. An ally is not to take over, speak for, represent, or control the narrative. 